I wanted to work through an example of refraction of light. Uh, this is the bending deflection of light at a boundary. Uh, the boundary might be from air to glass or glass to air or air to water, water to air. And so in this example, we're told that a scuba diver who's under the water surface, so he's in the water, she's in the water, is observing the sun from beneath the surface of the water and observes the sun at an apparent angle of 39 degrees from the vertical. And what we've got to calculate is the sun's true angle from the vertical. So let me make a, a sketch of this and then we'll go on and do the calculation. So in my sketch, this horizontal line is the boundary or the interface between the air above the horizontal line and the water below the horizontal line. This vertical line is the normal to the surface, to the boundary, to the interface. And that's what we normally measure angles of incident, reflected, reflected, light rays with respect to. And then here's the incoming light from the sun. And here's the refracted light that is observed by the scuba diver. Here's the scuba diver or the scuba diver's eye. So that's a picture of what's going on. And I, I drew the refraction towards the normal, because I'm aware that in this case, we're going from lower refractive index, that's the refractive index of the air, I'll call that N1. And that's essentially one, the refractive index of air, to higher refractive index, I'll call it N2, that's the refractive index of the water. And that's um, 1.33. And so this light ray is traveling from air to water, from lower to higher refractive index. This light ray is bent towards the normal. Now, this angle here, this is the angle of refraction. This angle here, this is the angle of incidence. The angle of refraction, I'll call it theta two, that angle is given to us in the problem. It's 39 degrees because that's the angle that the scuba diver is apparently seeing the sun up with respect to the vertical. And then this angle up here, this is the incident angle. I'm calling it theta one here. This is the true angle of the sun with respect to the vertical. And this is what we've got to calculate. And so that's a picture of the situation. That's a picture of the problem. So let's go ahead and do, do, the, do the calculation. So this is a calculation involving the law of refraction. This is a calculation involving what's called Snell's law. And Snell's law says that if you take the product of the refractive index and the ray's angle, the sign of the ray's angle for the incident ray and for the refracted ray, those products are equal. So N1 sine theta one equals N2 sine theta two. So over on the left-hand side is all about the incident medium and the incident ray, the ray's direction, the medium's optical properties. And over on the right-hand side, it's all about the refracted medium is the refracted rays direction and it's the um, optical properties of the refracted medium. And so if we look at this equation, we say, well, I know the refractive indices of both media, one and 1.33. I know the refracted angle. I don't know 
the incident angle, I've just got to rearrange this equation for the, um, for the incident angle. And so let's just do this. Sine theta one, that will be N two over N one sine theta two. We know the values of um, the refractive indices and the refracted angle. So we can just stick those in. This is going to be 1.33 over one for the ratio of the refractive indices. And this is going to be the sine of that 39 degrees. And so we can go ahead and calculate sine theta one. I already did this and I got the value of 0 0.837. And then I can take the inverse sine, the arc sine of 0.837 and get the angle. And I got about 57 degrees. And so 57 degrees on our diagram over here on the, um, the left-hand side, this is the angle of the uh, sun with respect to the horizontal. Uh, it's the true angle of the sun with respect to the horizontal. And so you see that the scuba diver saw the sun as higher in the sky at a greater angle to the horizontal the, um, uh, than the true angle of the sun. It was at a smaller angle to the horizontal. So when the scuba divers in the water and looking at the sun, you see the sun at a higher angle. And that's actually even true for us in the atmosphere when we see the sun. It's a much smaller effect, but we see the sun at a fractionally higher angle than the true angle of the sun uh, because of the effect of refraction, not as the sunlight goes from air to water for the scuba diver, but as the sunlight goes from a vacuum to air at the upper atmosphere. So when you look at, next time you look at the sun and you see that some angle in the sky, the true angle to the sun is slightly lower than that. And so, um, for example, we actually see the sun a moment, an instant before it's actually risen above the horizon. And that's because of the refraction of the sunlight uh, as it travels from vacuum in space into our atmosphere.